so today i'm going to be showing you guys how to make this tea skirt that is going to be four layers and is a short skirt so um the first thing you're going to do is to open up your fabric like this you might need about two yards to make this so you're going to open up this fabric this way guys this is going to be my method because uh, i'm just using my own method and a way that i feel i can save fabric doing it so um i'm just going to show you guys how i'm going to do that so you're going to take your fabric fold it this way right so fold it this way into two and then you're going to have this angle so i'm going to fold mine now so guys after this now the next is the calculation so, so now the next thing you're going to do we are going to first calculate our length and then we'll calculate um the width so the length i'm going to be using for my my skirt i want it short so it's going to be 18 inches in total but i'm going to subtract two inches from this here so that i two inches is going to be my band the band at the waist of the skirt right so i'm going to be left with 16 to be the length of my skirt so this 16 inches here i'm going to take it and i have four layers of skirt right so i'm going to divide this 16 by four layers and then i'm going to have four on so i'm going to have the length that i have i have left is 16 divided by four layers is going to be four on each layer length of four inches on each layer right so i have layer one layer two layer three and layer four so then the next thing i'm going to add to it is the um seam allowance to fold it so because you need to fold the rough edges and then you need half an inch to join it to the upper layer right so you need one inch at the bottom layer and half an inch at the top layer so you're going to add 0.15 plus 1.5 and all the way down and then after that, I need it to step up in because you don't want after joining the first layer, you put the next one immediately where the first layer stops. No, you need it to come inside of it a little bit before you put in the next layer. You can't join it like if my first layer ends here, I put the second layer like this. It will look nice. So I need if my first layer stops here, I need the first, the, the second one to go in a little bit underneath it. Right. So for that. I so guys, but I'm going to be using 1.5 in because I just checked one layer in might be too small for the coverage. So if you want, you can do one inch because it's a short skirt, it doesn't matter. But if you want, you can do 1.5 in. So mine will have 1.5 on top of the other, 1.5 on top of the other. So remember, you're going to start from the second layer because the first layer doesn't need anything to cover it. It's going right underneath the band, the band of your waist, right? This is our first layer, layer two, layer three, and then layer four, right? this are the layers so this first layer doesn't need anything it's not going going underneath anything it's starting from the second one that you start having the steps right so i'll add 1.5 here again 1.5 here again and 1.5 here again so i'm going to now come add everything that's how i'll get the length i need for each layer so guys that means i need for um 5.5 for my first layer length i need seven inches for the rest of the layers so this one here is the first layer 5.5 the rest is going to be seven layer seven layer seven inches seven inches seven inches of length so now we are done talking about the length so i'm just going to have this in my mind so guys this is it layer one two three and four the length is going to be 5.5 seven 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 so now i'm going to move over to the width so all, one calculation is all i need for my width and that is going to be my waist measurement which is 34 i'm going to add my zip allowance to it right so my zip allowance is two inches more because you remember you need one inch on each side of the zip right so it's plus two that's going to be 36 and then this 36 i'm going to multiply it by four so 36 this is just how you're going to calculate to get the radius you need um so now you're going to cut times this by four and then you're going to divide this whatever you get you divide it by 6.28 so guys this is it here so i after calculating it so whatever waist you're working with add two inches for, to it because you need the zip and then whatever you get so for me i'm working with waist of 34 plus two inches is 36 that 36 multiply it by four so multiply it by four and then you're going to get 144 right or whatever you get that whatever you get now divide it by this constant which is two point uh, 6.28 so for me i divided it and i got about 22.9 so approximately 23 inches is what i'm going to be using so this 23 inches now is what you're going to use for yours so so now that my fabric is folded like this remember this fabric is just one single layer of fabric folded into two so now that it's folded this way all i have to do is to take it like this and i'm going to go ahead and measure round from this top part here I'm going to measure that 23 inches I got for my waist. So you're going to put your tape here and mark 23 wherever you see it. So for me, that's here. Place your tape here and measure it all the way around and get to the other end. 
so guys whatever you got after dividing your waist so remember for me that was about 23 right that whatever you get after your waist measurement that you divided you're now going to start adding the um the layers to it so i got 23 and then i marked that 23 from this point here i i went and marked the 23 you see my tape here is at 23 marked it then i added 5.5 to it for my first layer and then so that 23 plus 5.5 is 28.5 so my next was my next line was 28.5 all the way down if you're looking closely you will see it so 28.5 next layer so guys now i'm going to move over to layer two i'm going to add seven to it because that's the length of the seven now we are adding length to all of them so the layer two now is uh um, plus seven is going to be 35.5 and I put my tape back again and mark 35.5 if you look closely you see it there so this is going to be my layer two layer one layer two so guys so I've marked the second one and then now I'm going to move over to the third layer so again I'll add seven to it because my third layer length is seven so to this 35.5 I'll add seven again so that means my next layer is going to be at 42.5 so I went ahead and marked it all the way to this angle that's 42.5 but if you look now you will see that my fourth layer cannot fit in here because of how the fabric is folded the current fabric is folded my first layer is also to add seven to this 42.5 so if i add seven to it i need about 49 inches right and my fabric here if i decide to cut 49 inches the one on top cannot contain it right because 49.5 sorry so i'm just going to mark it at this layer behind fabric so guys you see i've marked it layer one layer two layer three and layer four so now what you're going to do is you can go ahead and cut your lining but cut your lining to just maybe you if you want you can cut it exactly like this and just stop at layer three right and stop at layer three because that will be enough remember all this this is even too long because all this will still step up and the, each of them will still step up by 1.5 inch and you still need to fold the edges so if you cut it this length it will still be i think it will even be more than enough start cutting it out so i'm going to start here cut this out cut it out cut it out cut it out and then cut this one out so when you cut out this part here you take out this excess because this here is going to be disposed right it's nothing to us now so you can take this here and use it to complete your layer for the fourth one so i'm going to go ahead and cut mine now so guys this is what i was saying so you see this is what we took out from that top part this was here before right so i took it now all you have to do is to take this to the sewing machine or now that it's still folded if it's going to stress you too much just take it the way it is now and pin it down pin it down this way right once you pin it down you go back in again so now you've pinned it down so you know what the excess you need will be right you've pinned it down so now you go back in now and trace back your line and then cut it out so now you don't have to go sew it and come back so just pin it down like this and then follow that same line and look under and see where you traced your line before and follow that line and trace it back so now you have the completion of your fourth layer so guys this is the lining i'm going to be using and as you can see it's... so guys i decided to use um lining that is called like a square almost like i i later decided to change it to a line i wouldn't advise you to do that because it restricted my flay and my my flay wasn't like flowy how i wanted it to be so i would advise you to use the initial method of cutting it the same angle as the circle like the half a circle um as the bodies like when we, when i showed you guys initially how you're going to cut the lining instead just cut it how i said like reduce it by two inches of length that would be better than cutting it using this my method here because here i'm just basically just tracing the lining in form of a line and then i attached it it didn't work out for me so i would advise you guys to just go ahead and use the initial method of cutting the lining part here and then mark four inches or whatever length you're going to have when you're done remember my 16 inches for the total flare of my skirt i divided it by four layers and then it's going to that 16 divided by four is going to be four four inches of length so i'm going to mark my first four inches here second four inches which is going to be at eight another four inches which is going to be at 12 but the next four inches cannot fit in because remember like i said i'm going to still use one inch to fold this here and then so which means my lining is going to end somewhere at 13 and then my next my skirt length is going to stop at 16 somewhere here when i'm done so you see my lining is not the same length as my skirt it stopped at, my lining will stop at 13 because i'll still fold these edges here and then i'm going to be left with uh, my skirts at 16 inches so 
so my lining cannot be coming out at the end it will not look nice so divide it whatever layer you decided to use if it's five five layers mark the five five layers and mark it on a straight line all the way or your line so you don't make a mistake so i'm going to stretch mine out all the way connect it so that i can start placing my flay so guys this is it here i've marked my line on this side and also on this line because when i start sewing i don't want to get confused so what you're going to do now is i'm going to start with my first layer but before you start with the first layer go ahead and notch the center right notch your center so you know where your center is or you can even instead of notching it just mark a straight line like this and know that this is where my center fold is right you mark as i've marked mine a straight line like this at the center and then if you look at my skirt now you see there there's line all over there's a line going this way and then i have my center line here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to start with the first layer and this is my first layer here i'm going to go ahead and notch the top here and then i'm going to take it this way and just open it up straight like this and sew it down all the way across this way just sew it all the way down like this and then when you're done remember to fold the edges if you want just go on now and fold your all your ends hit now and then start attaching it layer by layer so guys you see how i'm joining mine you see the first layer here i gathered the lining a little just so it can fit into the waist here so if you want you can make your hip and the waist of this uh, bottom part uh like instead of cutting a line lining you can cut a rectangular lining instead you just gather it a little bit more inside of your clothes so you see i, I gathered mine in more because i gave it extra two inches at the waist here at the waist of this hair so it was longer than this uh, it was longer than the main skirt so you see the second layer how you're going to attach the subsequent layer is like this so you see you're going to hide your seam this way so when you go to attach it instead of just taking it and just sewing it straight like this down no what you're going to do is you're going to place it the wrong side and then sew it down when you're done sewing it then it will flap over this way so you see that's how i did this one sewed it down this way on the wrong side and then flapped it over so that when you flip it over you have a very clean finish like this right and it will help you it will help you have more flay because it's, it will give it more volume right because it's going to just fluff it up a little bit more so you see and then guys i also want to say to your first layer try and add maybe extra one inch to it because now that i'm sewing mine i'm seeing that i could have added more extra layer to the first one but the other layers don't need that much if you want you can leave it like this but i'm just saying you can still add like one more inch to the first layer so that if you want it to come down a little bit more or like half an inch more just so it can just extend a little bit more to cover the one below it but the rest the calculation for that is just okay because as you can see this is where my line for the second one is and my flay is already covering it so this second one now is going to come in here and see where my flay is so you see it will cover it very well so i'm going to just add the rest of them add this one here add the next layer and then i'll i'll go ahead and cut my band and to cut my band so guys you're going to just cut out a fabric that is like five inches of width fold it this way and then you're going to iron in your stay before you fold it and then tuck in half an inch on each side here tuck in half an inch on this side and then take the waist of your skirt start from one side fix it in between it and just sew it all the way down to the other end of your skirt and fixing your zip i've gone ahead and put in my zip close up everything in one seam at the back so this is the front here so you see i try to fold everything and guys please 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 don't use this a line it was hard for me to to put it together so just use the same lining as the one i showed you guys like cut it like how you're going to, when you're trying to cut out the layers cut your lining like that so this is it here so thank you guys so much for watching please like share and subscribe bye